Link for the final project file is in the description. You can download and play around with this scene. Okay, let's go. First, come to top view, then add a circular spline, change its radius to something like 20, uniform 4, then enable, ma enable a snap here on the snapping setting, change it to grid work plane, come here to a spline, click on the spline pen. Now, I start to draw a small spline here to be able to see it here, see it here in the object manager, then come to generator, add a sweep generator here, add both of these under sweep, make sure the order is like this, circle is above the spline, and that's our starting point. Come back to the spline, and with the spline pen, click on one end of this spline, and start to draw it. You can draw any pattern you like until you snap it to work plane grids, but make sure to give it some rooms, give it some empty places for other pipes to come on top of it. I'm happy about this for now. Let's duplicate this, delete the spline, Come to front view, one level above it, click click here to add another spline, put it under the second circle in the second sweep object, come back to top view and start drawing your second spline. For time to time, see your splines from other view to make sure they are staying in the same depth that you want. You can also come to other views, change their depth after some work on the same depth level to connect the ends together. Now this is our two levels of pipes. Let's go for the third one, duplicate this sweep object, delete the spline, click here on top of second spline in the front view, spline added, put it under circle, come back to top view, and start drawing your third spline. Sometimes when you want to connect the edges together, there would be a weird twist because of the angle and orientation. Don't worry about that, we will fix it with a simple option. Our three levels of pipes are ready. You can make it more complex, or keep it as simple as you would like. There is no hard rules here. For sake of this tutorial and getting more pleasing result, I will add fourth level and try to make it more uneven. So duplicate sweep again, delete the spline, come to side view, click somewhere to add a spline, put it under circle. This time I will keep an eye on the perspective view. This time I tried to make it more uneven and more 3D that it go past through other pipes in other levels. So it is just a matter of time and playing around with ideas. There is no, there is nothing right or wrong here. After you made your main layers of pipes, you can see them from top view. Make sure you are ready for the next step. I'm happy about the results for now. So I will save the file. I will name it pipes v1-1 live. Okay. I search here for splines. Spline. Select all of them. For the type, change it to linear. For the intermediate point, change it to subdivided. Change this angle to 3 and change this maximum length to 20. Click here to close search, fold everything, hide, hide all of them except one. Let's continue with this one and we will replicate what we do here on other ones. Add it to a null, add it to a subdivision surface, add it to a null, add a smoothing deformer here. On the smoothing deformer, change this iteration to 20. Now we have more curved, smooth, round edges here. Save the file. Add it to a Voronoi fractal here. Come to source, delete everything that is here. Unfold your hierarchy here. Drag and drop this spline to the source. Select the spline here. Change the distribution to a step. Come to geometry glue. Enable geometry glue here. Change the glue type to cluster. Change this cluster amount to something like 40. You can play around with the seed until you get a pattern you like. Now let's make the valves for it. So now hide this Voronoi fracture here. Add a circular spline. Change its radius to something like 10 here. Duplicate it. Change the second circle radius to 3. Zoom in a little bit. Add a sweep object here. Put them under sweep. On the smaller circle, change the plane to XY. Duplicate this sweep. Come here on asset browser. Search for segment spline. Drag and drop this one to the object manager. For the second sweep, delete the second circle with the segment inside it. Change its length to 25. Increase the point count to 3. Come to the circle. Decrease its radius to something like 1.3. Put this new sweep inside a symmetry generator. On the symmetry generator, change it to the radial. Add a sphere here. Change its radius to 3. Push the sphere a little bit up. Add a cylinder here. Change its radius to 2. Its height to something like 15. Save the file. Come to asset browser. Search for, search for axis. Drag and drop this geometry axis under cylinder. Change it axis equal to minus 100. And our valve is ready now. Select all pieces of valve. Put it inside and all. We can also rename it to valve. Now add a cloner. Put the valve inside cloner. Change the cloner to render instance. Mode to object. Drag and drop the spline for the first pipe here as an object. Zoom out to see what we are getting. Unhide the Voronoi fracture here. NG to see through everything. Here on the cloner object for the count, you can change this value to higher or lower one. I think seven is okay for now. Now it is working, but the valves are inside the pipe, so we need to push them out. When cloner is selected, add a plane effector. On the plane effector, come to parameters. Change its P rate to something like 30. Come here to perspective view to see everything is working. That's good for now. 
Now select the plane effector, clone it around Warner fracture, put all them inside them all. Now we need to do this for all of our other pipes, but it would take a lot of time to do it manually by hand, one by one. So we will duplicate the null three times, open the null and its fracture, open our hidden sweep, unhide them to see what we are doing. Now select the spline inside the Warner fracture here, come to tools, click on the gear icon in front of the replace fit, make sure the checked and unchecked item for your replace fit options are like me. Then click OK. And after that, click on the spline inside the sweep object. And as you can see, everything has been replaced nicely. I will delete the old sweep, fold this one, put it down, unfold next now, unfold the next fracture, unhide my sweep, unfold it, click on the spline inside the null, click on replace fit. After that, click on the spline inside sweep, and it has been replaced. Do it also for the last sweep. Click on the spline here, replace fit, click on the spline inside the sweep, and it is working. Delete our old sweeps here. We don't need them anymore, and our pipes are ready. Close this for now. Come here to our render view to see what we are doing. Hit on play. Okay, I will keep it small here. Turn it off for now. Click on search in the object manager. Search for Vornoid. Select all our Vornoids. Add a plane effector to them. Come to parameters here. Uncheck position. Come to fields here. Add a random field here. Come to color remapping. Change it to gradient. Keep it gray scale. Don't change these knots. Hit on play on our render view. It's not working. So let's first add a material here. Open it. Search for color user data node here. On the preset, select more graph color, connect it to the color of our RS standard, select our, our Voiner fracture, right click on the material, apply, and as you can see now they are gray scale and our plane effector is working. Pause it for now, clear the search, now search for the cloner, select all these cloners, add a plane effector, uncheck position, come to field, random field, make sure to click on this icon to make the random field affect the colors, select the random field, come to color remap, change it to gradient, select all our cloners, right click on our material, apply, hit on play for our render view, and as you can see, the random field for the color also are, is working for our valves. How's the RS render view for now? For more severe changing the colors of valves, you can come back to plane effector, select one of the cloner, come to effector, select this new plane effector that is added, load the list, double click on it, come to field, on the random field, right click on this gradient, change the interpolation to a step, drag the white here, add a knot here, change its color to a gray, and as you can see, our valves are now have three colors, black, gray, or white. You can play with the position of the, these knots to get different distribution for the white, gray, and black color. Let's hit on play on our render view. That's okay for now, we can come back to these knots and change them later. Hit pause on our render view, save everything. We also need a black background, so add a plane here, push it down, change its width and height to cover everything below, add a material, open it, change the color rate to zero, reflection to zero, clear the search, drag and drop this new material on the plane. That's good for now. Let's rename this to plane effector that we added for the color. This one I will call this valve colors, this one pipe colors. Let's add a camera, change its type to orthographic, alt to zero on it, add a null. On the camera add a target tag, rename the null to target, click on target tag, drag and drop the target null to target object here. Click on the camera, push it out, minimize the RS render view for now, so minimize this. Come here, add a new panel, change it to RS camera here. I will select the camera, change its zoom level here, select both camera and the target object, move them around to frame a part you like. I'm happy about this one. Save the file for now. This density of pipes are okay, but if you want to have more dense pipe that you're not able to see the black background under it, the simple solution that I use is select one of the one of the nodes containing pipes. I for example select this one, come to generator, add an instance. Now you have an exact instance of that pipe that is lightweight and smooth. You can move it around or rotate it. I will rotate it on the back behind all other pipes. Come to top view, move it around. Also disable the snapping option. You can duplicate it again, rotate it around, move it up or down. You can do this until you're happy about the result. Get back our RS render view. On this view, come here on the view, use as render view. Click on play here. Let's add the area light here. Drag and drop this target tag on this area light. Push it outward. Place it somewhere you're happy about. I like it. Look at this baby. Even it looks good on black and white. When area light is selected, come to intensity, change it to 20. Increase its size to something like 500 on X and Z, X and Y. I will reposition the area light to get more severe changing light and dark pipes. That's good. Save the file. Hit on pause on our render view for now. Now let's modify the material. Open the material that you applied to the Voronoi and cloners. It is this one, and this one was for the black plane. So I will open this. Add a ramp node here. Connect the color user data to the alt input of the ramp. Connect it to color. On the ramp, I will change this color to orange and black. On the RS standard, I will change the roughness for the reflection to 0.4. I will come to subsurface here. Change its weight to 0.4. We want the color also for the subsurface. So add this color as an input here by control clicking on it. Add the color correct node here, connect the ramp to this color correct, connect this color color to subsurf, you can play around with the hue shift here to get a different result, like for example enter 33, hit on play on RS render view, and as you can see we are hitting the result with the color, we can come to this ramp here, change this color to get different results with different color, for this one I may use a green color, I like it, you can also change the position of the lights, that's good, and that was all for this video, don't forget the final project file link is in the description, you can download and play around with it, also the idea for this project came from this piece, from what's the pronunciation for the name, I don't know, let's see. Nuria Madrid.
new Real Madrid. The idea for this video come from this piece from new Real Madrid. Check out her account or I don't know his. And that was all for this video. Bye bye.